<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Rachel Art with Heart. Hi, hello. It's so good to see you again. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are going to be in doing an artist study, which means we're going to be talking about a famous artist, looking at their artwork, and then creating something inspired by their artwork. Today, we are going to be talking about Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas was a famous female artist. She was born in Georgia. She was a painter and her paintings were almost mosaic-like. Mosaic is a type of artwork using little tiny little maybe stones or tile or gems and creating a really big picture. And they closely put them together. Sometimes you'll see them as squares or different shapes and then they look like a big picture once you put them all together. Here's a few examples of some mosaic artwork. Alma Thomas was an African-American artist and a teacher. Let's take a look at some of her artwork. And I want you guys to notice things in her artwork. Maybe different shapes, maybe some colors. What do you notice in her artwork? Did you notice that in her artwork, you saw lots of vibrant colors? You probably also saw lots of different shapes like squares that look like a big picture when you put them all together, just like in the mosaic artwork that we looked at. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started creating our own Alma Thomas inspired art piece. Today, we're going to be creating something like this. Now you are the artist of your own artwork, so you can create it however you want to. But do you notice how I have lots of vibrant colors and my artwork looks like those mosaic pieces we were looking at, right? It has little tiny little patches of tiles and then it expands out into a bigger picture. You can create your picture to look like whatever you want it to. I wanted mine to simply look like a design kind of going out, but you are the artist. So think of some ideas that you want to do. Maybe you want to make your art piece a sunset or sunrise. Maybe you want to make it a tree or maybe you want to do a design, circle, square, triangle. You can create it however you want. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for our Alma Thomas painting, we are going to start with our oil pastels. And in most of her pictures, you're gonna notice kind of, it almost looks like shapes, right? It looks like squares, kind of shapes, maybe some circles, lines, um, and it also goes in a flow of colors. So you'll notice maybe some of them will be blues and it goes out to greens and it goes out to reds and orange and yellow in a circle. Um, some of them have the lines. It's almost like shapes, colors, and patterns, right? So we're going to go ahead and do an Alma Thomas inspired creation. Um, you can create yours however you want using those simple rules the shapes, the colors, starting from a place inwards and going out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do my creation. And if you wanna do something similar, you are more than welcome to. If you want to um, be inspired to create your own artwork, you are more than welcome to do that as well. Cause remember you are the artist of your own artwork. All right, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I think I'm gonna start from over here and I'm gonna start with yellow, creating almost square-like yellow using oil pastels. I'm leaving space in between. It's almost like little, um, almost like tile, right? It's kind of like when you see tile and there's space in between. Just like that. And I'm gonna keep on creating until I fill up my whole page of colors and shapes, making it kind of go this way or outward. Again, remember you are the artist, so you create it however you want. Go ahead and follow along with me, or you can watch first and then be inspired to create your own artwork. All right, so as you can see, I have finished drawing all my squares. I did my squares from yellow to orange to red to pink to purple and to green. And you can see I did all little squares and they almost look like tiles, like I was saying, little tiles. Now I'm going to put my watercolor on top of my oil pastel squares. So when you put watercolor on top of oil pastels, the oil pastels pop right out because the watercolor doesn't sit on the oil pastels. It doesn't like to be on there. So watch what happens. It's almost like magic. I'm gonna use blue, maybe like a kind of greenish blue. I'm gonna mix, mix some colors over here greenish blue and I'm gonna paint right over and look what happens do you see what's happening my watercolor doesn't stick on top of my oil pastels so I can paint right over my oil pastels painting right over and it comes right off How cool is that? So I'm gonna keep on painting, painting right over my oil pastels. All right, now to finish, I'm gonna get a paper towel and I'm going to blot, blot, blot. I'm gonna bounce my paper towel around like a bunny, blot, 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 picking up all of those wet spots. Like that. inspired art piece. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today, talking and learning about Alma Thomas and creating our own Alma Thomas inspired art pieces. Thanks so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you guys next time because we are doing another artist study. So go ahead and subscribe and also like this video and check out my other videos. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.